Have you ever been so incredibly mad at your duo's partner that you're like, if only I could find one other person on this planet that could be my friend, someone like Batman. Today, we're gonna deduce if any fictional character can be a good duo's partner. We, we are starting with Batman. If he was a little lower, he might wanna give me a little smooch on the lips. Come here, big guy. Would Batman be a good duo's partner? And the answer is, of course. This man will know all of your weaknesses, all of his weaknesses, and all the opponent's weaknesses by just glancing at them. The amount of wins that would absolutely be stacked if Batman was your duo's partner would be absurd. S tier. You can't have Batman without the Joker, and let's be honest with ourselves. This man is a wild card. He might help or harm your team depending on the match. Although the comms would be absolutely hilarious at the beginning of the night, but once the L's keep stacking up, they get less and less funny. D tier. Goku is 100% the type of duos partner that will just run at anything if he hears gunfire. And you know what that is? Annoying. I do believe playing with Goku will probably advance your skill very quickly, but dude, you're gonna have to think at some point C tier. I think Frieza is easily a better duos partner than Goku, just right off the bat, because Frieza thinks. Also, the comms from Frieza have to be hilarious. The most amount of insults coming towards you and your enemies. If you can't take a joke, you probably will hate playing with Frieza, but I think it would be funny. B tier. Superman. If you're the type of player that wants to play the way you want to play, he will meld himself to play to your style. He won't get mad over comms. He probably will never yell. He also feels like the type of person that if he tells you that he's gonna get on in 15 minutes, he actually does get on in 15 minutes. A tier. The comms will be so funny if you have Mr. Tony Stark as your duo's partner. I mean, he's dead, but I didn't spoil anything for anyone, right? Because like anyone that wanted to see it by this point would have seen Endgame by this point. Besides the fact that the comms would be funny, I think he would be a fairly average teammate. I don't think he would lift you up at all, but he would also not drop you down at all. B tier. I think Captain America would literally play the same exact way as Superman. Also A tier. I mean, he's actually just a kid. You could actually just be playing with Spider-Man as your duo's partner. Peter Parker's actually just a dude with superpowers. He's kind of smart, but at the same time, you're playing a video game. C tier. Naruto Uzumaki, I think he's actually going to be goaded as a duo's partner because he knows how to play as a team and he also knows how to carry. He is kind of dumb. And also you will probably hear the slurping of noodles in your headset. But if Naruto is your duo's partner, you're getting some dubs. A tier. Mickey Mouse easily has to be one of the best duo's partners. Hear me out. This man has big daddy Disney money. That means every skin acquired, physical lessons acquired. And if you play a game with proximity chat, that man can just pay him off. He'll ask for everyone's Venmo. S tier. As a spy, James Bond has to have one of the lamest playstyles ever. If you're playing a battle royale and the objective is just to survive, this man will camp the entire game. He's gonna be sitting in the corner like, I only need one at the end. Huh, I don't need to take out any of these mother truckers. And you know what that is? That's boring. D tier. Don't ask me why his suit and Goku's hair is missing. I have no idea how to fix that. Darth Vader. Let me be honest, probably a terrible duos partner. One, he wears gloves. So there's no way that his hands can move fast enough on the sticks or the keys. Two, this man is the heaviest breather of them all. And you will constantly hear that in your headset. No one wants that. And if you take an L, this man will probably just show up on your doorstep and end you right then. F tier. Yoda, on the other hand, will be completely supportive. Too bad he's like over a thousand. This man probably doesn't know how technology works. Doesn't even know how to pick up a controller, really. D tier. Aaron Yeager. I'm going to be honest. I don't want to hear someone cry every, every time we take an L because L's are fairly common and crying shouldn't be. D tier. Aaron Yeager. Yes, I believe he becomes two completely different people. They just happen to share the same name. He's cold. He's calculating and he's a loner.
perfect for a duos partner. Let me tell you, I think you're gonna get a ton of dubs with older Aaron. The only problem is all those dubs aren't going to be fun. Look at his face. While he's playing, he probably will not enjoy himself. B tier. Chewing in the mic, probably falling asleep during the game. Not to mention this man probably has the intelligence of a pistachio. I don't believe there is any upside of having Homer Simpson as your duos partner. F tier. I would normally separate Popeye when he doesn't have spinach and Popeye when he does have spinach, but let's be honest, that man has it already strapped to him. As a man that's cracked out on vitamin C, I don't even think this man would blink during the game. Do I believe his forearms would probably crush his controller and or keyboard? Yes. Would you not be able to understand him through the comms? Absolutely. But gosh darn it, does he have heart. C tier. I have watched all of Game of Thrones except for the final season, so therefore, I still like all the characters. Jon Snow, when he picks up the sticks, is probably just any other dude, honestly. C tier. Potter. You can't tell me that there isn't a spell that makes you cracked out at video games, or a spell that basically makes the controller play the video game. And since he's using a spell to basically play the game, his comms would be fire because all he has to focus on is looking at the screen. S tier. Arthur, there's some rage in this man. Have you seen that one meme? Of course you did. For some odd reason, in my mind, I feel like Arthur would actually be a pretty good duos partner. I don't know why. I feel like I need to put him in the tier that all the other average people are in. I don't think Arthur is going to be any better than like, a Spider-Man or a Popeye. For some reason in my heart, I wanna put him higher, but I'm still gonna put him C tier. Santa Claus as a duos partner, this man will pick up and give you all the good loot. B tier, the Grinch, the opposite of Santa Claus. This man will find every piece of loot and just snatch it up like a raccoon or a chimpanzee. The only thing that will keep the Grinch out of F tier is I think the Grinch being in your ear would be pretty funny. D tier. Where's Waldo? I have no idea. This man will be a camper and this man will disappear without a trace. F tier. Shrek. He's just gonna be mad all the time. In fact, he will probably not be happy that he is even playing a video game with you. He will blame you for everything wrong in his life, F tier. Optimus Prime, a little bit different than Harry Potter, although similar, he will turn himself into the controller and he will just be gaming himself. Huh? S tier. Gandalf. I do feel like the magic from the Harry Potter series and the magic from Lord of the Rings is a little different. He's old, he doesn't know technology, he won't know how to turn on the system. F tier. SpongeBob will make light of all the L's. The only problem is when they start stacking, that laugh is not gonna be funny anymore. In fact, you're gonna get absolutely livid at it. D tier. Ed, Ed, and Eddie. Now you might be wondering, wait, those are three people. Why are you rating them together? They're all broke. Only one of them could probably afford the system and it's probably double D. When they're passing the controller around to take turns, when Ed gets on the stick, he will break the controller. And even if he doesn't break the controller, I highly doubt that man even knows how a video game works. Eddie will blame you for everything, and Double D will 100% be the most passive player you have ever came across. Zero of them would make good duos partners. All of them together is even worse. F tier. There will be no duos partner more supportive than Winnie the Pooh. He's so supportive, you will be all right with the amount of L's that you have taken for like four or five hours. But by hour seven or eight, you're probably sick of it. Especially if every single game, he's striving to get everyone to stop being violent in your violent video game. That'll get annoying. D tier. This is the final list. I wanna make one singular change. I move Spider-Man up the B tier. The comms would be so funny, so sarcastic. Thanks for watching and consider subscribing. I'm a little baby YouTube channel out here and nothing tells me to upload more than you subscribing. Leave a comment for what character you think would be the best duos partner. Also, if you're already subscribed, <laughs> that's my mother freaking boy.